Hello and welcome to Be The Magician. My name is Brandon and welcome to my channel. So if you are new to the channel, welcome and you're in for a treat because this trick can fool any magician. I'm not just saying that, this fools magicians. So let me show you what this trick looks like and tell me if it fools you. Let's get into it. Okay, so this is a little bit of a big statement saying this is gonna fool magicians, but this will fool magicians, it really will. So this is what it looks like. And if this does fool you, like I said, let me know in the comment section. So here we go. So it does use a pack of playing cards and the cards can be shuffled. That is correct. The cards can be shuffled. So you get your spectator to cut the cards if they wish. It really doesn't matter. They can cut them as much as they like. Okay. So now you'd ask your spectator to cut the cards into four packets. So basically they'll cut some cards over here. They'll cut some cards over here bit more and a few more over here so it's four random packets but and like I said I wouldn't have done this the spectator would have cut these cards I have no control of where they cut so let's take a look at the top card it's in fact a king the king represents the number 13 so let's count 13 that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That is the 13th card. Over here, we have the 7. Let's count 7. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is the 7th card. Over here, we have a 9. I don't think we've got 9 cards, but we'll try. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, it's the bottom card. That is 9. And over here, we've got a 5. That is 1, 2, 3, 4. That is the 5th card. They have caught anywhere they wanted to. We ended up on the King, the 9, and the 7. Hopefully, they found the 1, 2, 3, 4 aces. And that is mind-blowing i do think this is awesome did it for you come on be honest with me right now did this trick for you because the thing is the cards can be examined there's nothing to see it is a legit shuffle deck of cards they could have cut anywhere and you find four aces wow so yeah that is the trick uh i think this is amazing i really do and it does for magicians. I've done it with two magicians and it's for them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do this. So grab your cards and let's get learning. Okay, so this is the explanation of the trick. So yes, we need a pack of cards and we need six duplicate cards for this trick to work and three double faces. No, I'm joking. We don't really. All you do need is a full 52 uh, pack of cards and just remove the jokers so if I show you the cards they do look quite mixed up but if you look closely they are in a stack deck don't worry you don't have to know the order of the cards all you got to do is set them up and everything else works on itself so all you got to do is get put ace two three four five six seven eight nine ten jack queen king ace two three four five six seven eight nine ten jack queen king and the same and the same. So you're doing ace to king, ace to king, ace to king, ace to king. That's your setup. Don't worry about the suits. It's not like the chase or the club starts base diamonds. It can be any random mixed up suits. So just for example, I did this up quickly. It's just ace two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. It's just a random order. It doesn't matter what suits these are. The suits can be random. So that's your setup, ace, ace to king, ace to king, ace to king, ace to king. And if you've done it correctly, you'll have an ace at the face and a king at the bottom. So like you saw in the performance, I gave this a false uh, riffle shuffle, and that's called the rebel shuffle. So uh, I'll show you quickly what that is. It's not the easiest move, but if you know any false cuts, like I've already explained this one, you can use this because that's not going to disturb the order. So the way I did the riffle shuffle... You can slip cut one card inside the center, the top card, and keep a pinky break like so. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna 
you're going to transfer it into a fun break. And when you've got this fun break, you're going to riffle off till you hit the break, okay? Then you're going to lift up, so like you're going to do a riffle shuffle. And when you riffle, what's going to happen is your hands are going to come up towards yourself. And what you're going to do is pull back on the top card and riffle the, re re the remainder of the right hand packet inside this break. And the, that noise you get is going to come off your thumb. So it's going to hit every, every card is going to hit your thumb. So it's going to look like this. Then when you come down, all you're going to do with your thumb, you're going to put pressure down and you're going to basically spring. Okay, I know that might have been a bit of a bad angle. Let me see if I can see the camera when I explain this. So you're going to uh, swing up the top card, get a break. You're going to do a riffle shuffle to the break, like so. Now what you're going to do is when the cards come to yourself, you're going to pull back on the top card so it looks like this. And then you're going to riffle every, every single card in the right hand off your thumb, like so. And then you're going to push down with your right thumb, okay? And your left thumb is going to do the exact same. It's going to bevel the cards. So at speed, I don't know what it's going to look like from this angle. It should look something like this. Okay. So you don't have to do that. I, I did go through that really quickly. Uh, but if you do any, if you do no false cuts, you can use your false cuts, your false shuffles. That's absolutely fine. But the order of the cards all stay the same. Okay. So now what you can do, I didn't do this in the performance. Um, when you, you do have to give the cards a real cut and then spread the cards. And to the spectator, all these look mixed. I didn't do that in the performance, but you can show all the cards are mixed. I've just cut them once, that's fine. And you can cut these cards as many times as they like. It really doesn't matter how much the spectator cuts the cards or if you cut the cards. So you can tell them to give them a cut because in the spectator's eyes, that's mixing the cards up. But us magicians, we know it's doing nothing. So you're going to pick the cards up. If it is an ace, give them a cut. <laughs> Funny enough, I cut to another ace. Give them a cut. You want to try and hit a five, six, or seven. Or should we say, no, we say six, seven, and eight. If it's not a six, seven, and eight, give them a cut. Let's say, for example, oh, I'm hitting every card now. Let's say, oh my God, let me get a card. What's not that? Let's say you, they cut the card, you pick them up, and it's a queen. Let's say you cut them and it's still not a six, seven or eight. You can just spread the cards and say, look, all the cards are random. And all you're going to do is look for the first six, the seven or eight. And whatever card you see first, just cut that to the bottom. Now the trick will work on its own. So you get them to cut some cards off from the top. Oh, sorry, about the middle of the, middle of the pack to the left. Then cut these half to the left. And cut these to the right. Cut a bit more. Now, the trick works all on its own due to that stack. So, the second card down will be the ace, okay? Whatever card this is, the three, the third card down will be the next ace. That's one, two, that is three. This packet is the four, one, two, sorry, one, two, two, three, four. That's the third ace. And the last one is the five of clubs and it will be five down. So it's up to you how you want to deal these cards. So if you're following me right now, you might have different cards, okay? So you can pick the cards up and say, look, first one's a two, we're gonna count two. That is one, this is two. Do it again. This is, it's a three. You can deal one, two, and place a third card there. Or if you prefer to do it the way I do it, uh, it'll be this way, that's four. That is one, two, three, this is number four. And the fifth one is five. You deal five, that's one, two, three, four, five. And you can get all these cards together. You can spread the cards to say, look, all the cards are mixed up in a random order. You manage to find the one, two, three, four aces. And that's the explanation 
of this awesome car trick. Okay, so that's the end of the trick. Usually I go through the explanation a couple of times, but I don't think I need to, to do it with this trick, only because it does it on its own. Everything works on its own, except from the false shuffle. Uh, what I went through briefly, I didn't explain it properly, but what I just did then was the false uh, riffle shuffle, the rebel shuffle, um, but if you do want to learn that in more in depth, let me know and I can do a, a lot better for an explanation than that. I can get different angles with it. it well, it's up to you. You might already know this. You, don't, you might not even want to use that shuffle. You might just prefer your false, your, your false scores. I don't know. But that is the trick. Like I said, I did say this is the magician faller. This does fall magicians when they are cutting the cards. When you're doing the false, the false shuffle shuffle, you don't have to do that, but like I said, it adds that little bit of a boom, the card the mix. But yeah, do you think this is a magician faller? You might not. You might think, Brandon, that was very obvious. I knew everything you did. But if you did think it was, leave a comment down below because I'd be quite interested to see your comments. But anyway, that's the end of the video. Please hit that like and subscribe. And thank you for all your support. It means the world. I'll see you next time.